Hey everyone, Matthew here, and in this video I want to answer what is the most asked question about trading to one two, which is how do they make money? If you stumble across this video but you've never heard of them, trading to one two is an investing app which makes of being completely free of charge their main selling points. And you know, it's important to understand if and how they generate revenue in order to be able to trust the service. They have lots of expenses they need to pay for employees, servers, advertising, they even give out free shares to the referral program. So if they didn't have any legit ways to generate revenue, that would be quite suspicious. So I did lots of research on the topic, well to be fair, I did it before actually deciding whether to invest with 3 and 2 and 2 or not, and in this video I will lay out all of my findings. First of all, I will tell you how 3 and 2 and 2 claims to be making money, then go on to and speculate a little bit on some different ways 3 into 1 2 might have to be making money either right now or in the future. Thirdly, I will comment on some of the ways people on the internet claim 3 into 1 2 is making money and some of like the shady practices they might be doing. And then make sure to stick around till the end when I will give kind of a final recap and tell you whether I think 3 into 1 2 is a safe and trustworthy platform to use for your investment or not. As it turns out, their absolutely number one source of revenue is smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel. Not everybody's channel, just this channel specifically, apparently that's the best investment you can make with your money. Their second source of revenue, and I'm quoting directly from the Q&A section on their website, is Trading212 is making money from its CFD business, where the main revenue comes from spread and interest swap. Well, if that didn't make too much sense to you, don't worry, you're not alone. If we open Trading212, we see that there are three different platforms. We have the investing platform, which is like the basic one where you can buy and sell shares. We have the ISA platform, which is similar to investing, the difference is that this special type of account where you basically don't pay any taxes on the money that you earn from your investment. I won't go into too much detail about them. I made a video on ISA accounts, so if you want to check it out, link is here or here or whatever. And lastly, they have their CFD platform. CFD stands for contract for difference and it is a type of investment where instead of buying or selling a share, you're basically betting on the price going up or down. Let me show you. If I open trading to one two right now, we can see here the investing platform. Then we have the ISA here and then the CFD. As you can see, I don't have any real money in the CFD because it's a riskier type of investment, which I'm not comfortable doing. In this platform, you can find not only shares like Christian Dior, but also commodities such as silver, gold and oil, cryptocurrencies, forex, etc. And everything has two prices, a buy price and a sell price. As you can see, they're not the same. For example, in the Christian Dior stock here, we have a buy price of 365 euros, a sell price just about 361 euros. So there is about a 4 euros difference, which is what we call a spread. So if I buy a CFD for Dior right now and I sell it immediately, I lose about 4 euros, which is where trading 2 and 2 makes money from. They basically pocket this spread. And then we have interest swap, which sounds like something very complicated, but I'll try and make it simple for you. Basically, CFDs are a leverage investment, which means that whenever you buy a contract for difference, you're actually borrowing money from your broker. And as it happens, anytime you borrow money, you will need to pay an interest for it, specifically whenever you hold your investment overnight. And that's another way for Trading212 to make money. So this is what they say on their website. And on the surface, it seems to make sense. But is this really the full picture? Or is there more that they're not telling us? Before we go any further, just a reminder that I'm not a financial advisor, so make sure to do your own research before you decide how to invest your money and which platform to use. And now let's consider a few more elements. Well, for one, they might also have other sources of revenue. Similar investing apps that are completely free of charge also make money from overnight interest, which means that every time you have uninvested capital on your account, trading 212 might be actually earning a very small percentage interest every day. Another one might come from the fact that whenever you send a buy or sell order on Trading212, they don't actually execute the trade, but they forward it 
to another broker, which in this case is Interactive Brokers, and they pay a premium to Trade212 for the privilege of making this trade. And these are just a couple of examples, but just keep in mind that this is only speculation and it is not being proved or confirmed by Trading212. Another important aspect to consider is the fact that Trading212 has been around for a very long period of time and they've been profitable for the past 15 years. However, they've not always been completely free of charge like they are now, because they used to charge inactivity fees, withdrawal fees, only allow 10 free trades per month, etc. And as their user base grew, that also meant that more and more people were using the CFD platform, which, as we learned earlier, generates very large profits. This allowed them to reduce other kind of fees in order to attract even more users, which means even more people buying and selling contracts for different fees, until we got to the point today where that part of the business alone is able to generate enough revenue to sustain and make profitable the whole platform. And lastly, as we read on their forum, in the future they might develop some additional features that will require a paid subscription in order to be unlocked. And this freemium business model is very common in the tech industry. You basically give everybody all of your basic services for free and then you rely on that 1, 2, 5, 10% of users that will actually pay a subscription in order to make profit. And now on to my favorite part, which is commenting on what people say on the internet. In order to do this, I went on Trustpilot and looked for reviews where people claim that trading to want to store their money, as this is generally a very good way to find out if there are any kind of hidden fees that we're not considered yet. Just keep in mind that I don't work for Trading212, so I can't be absolutely sure of what happened, but I will just give my opinion and make an educated guess. So the first one is Lawrence, who claims the Trading212 charger almost $100 to buy a Tesla share, which would be insane. So as it appears, she placed an order when the market was closed for a Tesla share and the price was displayed as $1580, and then as soon as the market opened, her order was executed and she was charged $1,677, which is $97 more than she originally thought she would spend on the share. And what most people don't know is that markets have pre-market hours and after hours, which are additional trading windows, generally reserved only to institutional investors, where people can still buy and sell shares, even if you see the market has closed on trading to one two. So if the price during these pre-market hours or after hours of the Tesla share raised up to $1, $1,677 as soon as the market opened and the trade was executed, the price was actually higher than she thought and that's why she was charged more. Additionally, when the market opens, there's usually a huge backlog of orders. So every buy and sell order that people placed when the market was closed will be executed in a matter of minutes or even seconds from the market open. And the way a stock graph is created is just taking the price at the beginning of each minute and the price at the end of each minute. But within those 60 seconds, the price might have actually gone higher or lower. And that's why even if Lawrence claims that the price on the graph ever went up only to $640, Within a minute, the price might have actually been much higher or much lower, in this case much higher, and so she was charged more, just because when the order was executed, that was actually the price for a share. And then we have David, who claims that Trading212 is charging some hidden fees, because if he buys 100 shares for, let's say, £5 each, he can only sell them immediately for £4.80 each. And that's completely normal, and that's just how the stock market works. On all the investing platforms and apps, what you see is just the buy price, but the sell price is different, and it's actually a tiny bit lower. On Trading212 specifically, if you want to see it, you need to click on the specific stock and scroll down a little bit, and the sell price will actually be shown. Or if you are from desktop, you can just see here both the buy price and the sell price, so you know exactly what you will get if you sell the share. As it seems, most of the times what people claim that there are hidden fees, that just comes from a lack of knowledge, either on how Trading212 specifically or the stock market slash investing works. In conclusion, based on these reasonings and all the research that I did, I think that Trading212 is a trustworthy platform and that's why I chose them for my investment. If you're also looking to get started, you can get a free share worth up to £100 whenever you create an account using the link down below in the description and deposit just £1 on the platform. For full disclosure, that's my affiliate link which means that by using it, I will also receive a free share. 
but as usual that's not the reason why i recommend the platform and in fact if you think that i'm just a sellout looking to get free shares you can use the second link down below in the description to register that's just a regular one which means that if you use it you will miss out on a free share but if you don't like free money that's completely your choice and it's completely fine for me this wraps up the video i hope you found it helpful and informative and if you did make sure to share it with a friend or family member that's also looking to get started with investing in the stock market so that they can learn more about one of the most prominent platforms in the uk i hope you have a great day and i will see you in the next video